In economically reeling southern Nevada, Albertsons has found a way to align with shoppers who are struggling to stretch their household budgets for everyday necessities. And it has nothing to do with the store's food prices. Albertsons has given 500 square foot of primary space by the entrance to a Goodwill Select shop that sells gently used clothing. Displays of quality items are culled from the many donations Goodwill receives, and they range from a $2 t-shirt to a $79 designer dress, plus shoes, purses, and other clothing and accessories. We at the Lemper Report see the Goodwill Select concept as a way for Albertsons to tangibly show that it cares for its shoppers and perhaps to gain a halo effect on its own price image. Albertsons has allowed Goodwill donation trailers in its store parking lots in this part of the state since 2008, and this represents a step up in its commitment to the nonprofit group. The store is on a 90-day trial basis, and if successful, could wind up in as many as eight more Albertson stores. Profits will benefit Goodwill programs in the area. In a different expression of caring, the Whole Planet Foundation, WPF, a nonprofit established by Whole Foods Markets, aims to help alleviate poverty by extending microcredit in impoverished communities worldwide, and has so far committed $850,000 to Grameen America to help the micro lender fund small business loans for borrowers who live below the poverty line here in the U.S. WPF has pledged an additional $250,000 for each new market where GA expands, and their microloans are meant to help entrepreneurs run businesses and create jobs for people living in poverty. First credit cards, now vending. When the Lemper Report returns. ConAgra Foods. With brands like these, we can't help but smile. Conagra Foods. Food you love. Two New York University students won a citywide contest for new business ideas by proposing the ultimate convenience, vending machines and taxis. The Taxi and Limousine Commission needs to approve the program before it could happen, and assortment, pricing, and payment details still need to be worked out. That according to the New York Post. But Brian Schimmerlich, one of the co-owners of Taxi Treats, told the paper they'll cherry-pick what's needed from the best-seller lists of convenience stores. Items such as snack bars, energy drinks, gum, mints, and pain relievers. An idea made for fast-paced Manhattan, of course, where minutes matter. But perhaps they matter a bit too much. According to the USDA Agricultural Research Service, 90% of Americans eat between meals and consume twice the number of daily snacks as we did just three decades ago. The Lemper Report uploads right here three times a week with the information you need to stay ahead of the trends. For more, just visit thelemperreport.com.